Mark plays a stomping ground tapped. Jeff plays a forest and pass. Will plays a forest and pass. I play a plains and do the same. Mark plays command tower and keeps it going. Jeff plays an island and wouldn't you know it, he passes. Will plays Urza Saga and pass. I play an island and keeping it fair, I pass the turn. Mark plays a forest, then he casts his commander, Bello, Bard of the Brambles. Jeff plays a swamp, then he casts his moistness, Glarb Calamity's Augur. Will plays Three Tree City, then using Urza Saga, he makes a construct. At Will's end step, I cast Fairy Mastermind. On my turn, I cast Loyal Warhound. I fetch four planes into play, tapped. Moving to combat, I send Fairy Mastermind at Mark, unblocked. Mark plays a mountain, then he casts Nature's Will. Moving to combat, he sends the team at Jeff. Jeff blocks Bellow and takes four damage. Nature's Will triggers and Mark's lands untap. Glarp has Death Touch, so Bellow dies. I draw because Mark drew his second card for turn. Then Mark casts Argothian Enchantress and pass. Jeff activates Glarp. He surveils two, putting both into his graveyard. Then he plays Verdant Catacombs from the top of his library. Moving to his end step, he discards and passes. Will activates Urza Saga to make another construct before sacrificing it. He tutors for Skull Clamp. Then he plays Takanuma Abandoned Mire and pass. I cast Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Glarb Calamity's Augur. There's not a land on top. I move to combat and send Fairy Mastermind at Will with no blocks. Mark plays Mossfire Valley. Then he attempts to recast Bello. Jeff responds by evoking Subtlety. Mark puts his commander on top of his library and pass the turn. Jeff cracks Verdant Catacombs. He fetches a swamp into play. Then he plays a forest. After that, he casts Summer Bloom. He plays a forest, an island, then a swamp. Then he casts Jace the Mind Sculptor. He uses Jace's zero ability to brainstorm. He draws three cards. I draw from Fairy Mastermind. He puts two cards back. Then he passes. Will plays Fountain Port. Then he casts Marionette Apprentice. It'll enter with the 1 1 servo and he passes from there. During my upkeep, I tap my Glarb copy to surveil too. I put both into my graveyard, looking for a red source. Then I cast Caretaker's Talent. I play a Plains. Moving to combat, I send Fairy Mastermind at Jeff's Jace and pass. Mark plays a Mountain. Then he recasts his commander, Bellow. After that, he casts Garuk's Uprising. He draws from his Enchantress, and I draw from Fairy Mastermind. Then he draws again because he has a creature with 4 power. Moving to combat, he sends Nature's Will at me for 4 unblocked damage. Nature's Will taps my planes and untaps his lands. Then he casts Mana Echoes. He gets 2 colorless mana on ETB and draws a card. After that, he casts Relentless Assault. He untaps his creatures and goes to a second combat step. He sends Mana Echoes and Nature's Will at Will. Will blocks with his constructs. He takes no damage, but his constructs are destroyed. With Marionette's Apprentice Trigger, everyone but Will takes 2 damage. Mark moves to his end step. Jeff surveils 2 with Glarb. He puts both into his graveyard and starts his turn. He'll cast Deep Analysis from the top. He draws 2 cards. I draw 1 card. Then he plays a Swamp. From there, he casts the Gitrog Monster. Then he taps Glarb, surveilling 2. One goes to his graveyard and the other stays on top. He draws from Gitrog. Then he plays Wooded Foothills. From there, he zeroes Jace to Brainstorm. He draws three cards, then he puts two back. He moves to end step and will cast Paw Patch Formation, targeting Nature's Will. Jeff discards a Swamp, Gitrog triggers, and he draws. Then he discards Phyrexian Metamorph and passes. Will plays Undergrowth Stadium, then he casts his commander, Hazel of the Root Bloom. He equips his commander with Skull Clamp and pass the turn. Finally, getting a red source, I play Fiery Islet. Then I cast my commander, Zinnia Valley's Voice. After that, I cast Sutra Priest. Moving to combat, I send 2 flying damage at Jace and pass. Mark casts Nature's Lore. He fetches a Taiga into play. We remember Will's commander lets him make a token, so he gets that. Then Mark casts Skitter Beam Battalion for its prototype cost. On ETB, he gets 2 copies of it. Mana Echoes triggers, making him 12 colorless mana. Garuk's Uprising draws him 3 cards. Then he casts Nevin Raw's Disc. He adds another 5 mana to his pool. He draws another card, and I remember to draw one too from Fairy Mastermind. Then he casts Nautiloid's Ship. On ETB, it exiles Jeff's graveyard. In response, Jeff cracks Wooded Foothills. He tutors for a forest, then his graveyard is exiled. I finally remember Suture Priest, and Mark loses a life. Mark draws another card from Garuk's Uprising. He makes six more colorless mana from Mana Echoes. Then he casts Urgolem's Eye, drawing another card and taking another damage. He makes another seven mana. Then he plays Cinderglade. After that, he casts Warstorm Surge. He draws from his Enchantress. Then he draws from Garuk's Uprising. He takes another damage from Suture Priest. 
On ETB, Warstorm Surge deals 4 damage to Xenia. Moving to combat, he sends 16 indestructible damage at me. He sends 8 indestructible damage at Jeff, and he sends 4 at Will. Jeff blocks 4 and takes 4. Will takes the 4. I block with my Glarb clone and take 12 damage. Before damage, I surveil 2, putting 1 into my graveyard. With the Nautiloid ship trigger, Mark reanimates Jeff's Phyrexian Metamorph. Metamorph enters as another Warstorm Surge. On ETB, he sends 4 damage at Will's Marionette Apprentice. He takes 1 damage from Sutra Priest and draws another card from Garug's Uprising. He moves to discard and passes the turn. Jeff sacrifices a Swamp to Gitrog and draws. Then he casts Lockthwain Scorn. It gives Bello minus 3 minus 3. Then Jeff casts Aftermath Analyst. He mills 3 cards on ETB. A land hit his graveyard, so he'll draw a card. After that, he evokes Moldrifter. He draws two cards. Then he plays Polluted Delta. He'll crack it, drawing a card. The land he fetches for is a Swamp. Then he'll cast Sensei's Divining Top. I'm not going to say every time he uses the top to look at the top three, but I will call out when he draws with it. Then he plays another Swamp. After that, he casts Early Harvest, untapping all his basic lands. From there, he'll cast Lumera, Bellow of the Woods. He mills four cards and returns all his lands into play from his graveyard. Lastly, he taps Glarb and surveils two. He puts one into his graveyard and one on top and pass. Will cast Revive the Shire. He returns Urza Saga to his hand and makes a food token. Then he plays the Urza Saga. After that, he activates Hazel for mana. Using that mana, he casts Belladros Witherbloom. He takes one from Sutra Priest. Then he pays 10 life to untap his lands. Then he casts Pest Infestation with X being two. He destroys Mana Echoes and he destroys Nevin Raw's Disc. With that, he makes 4 pest tokens. On ETB, he takes 4 damage from Sutra Priest. In response, Jeff casts Force of Vigor. His targets are the 2 Warstorm Surges. Will moves to his instep, making another pest with his commander. Starting my turn, Will makes a pest and loses a life. Then I cast Soul Herder. I move to combat and send 2 flying damage at Mark. Then I cast Guide of Souls. My sequencing has been off this game, but I gain 1 on ETB. Moving to my end step, Soul Herder flickers Loyal Warhound and gets another counter. On ETB, I fetch four planes and I'll gain two life and one energy. Will gets another pest and lose another life. Mark recasts his commander, Bello, losing one life. Moving to combat, Mark sends the Nautiloid ship at Will. He sends the other three 4-4s four at Jeff. In response, I cast Rapid Hybridization targeting Bello. Mark responds by casting Tamiyo Safekeeping. Jeff blocks two of the attackers. Will blocks the Nautiloid ship, Jeff takes 4 and Mark draws a card. Then he casts Ruby Medallion, after that he casts Blasphemous Act. Jeff taps the Divining Top to draw a card, then he casts Cyclonic Rift, bouncing one of Mark's tokens. The board gets wiped, Will draws 2 from Skull Clamp and gains 7 life from his pest dying. Jeff starts by casting his commander, Glarb aka his Moistness, then he plays Bloodstained Mire, immediately fetching a Swamp. After that, he casts Sensei's Top. Then he casts Titania, Protector of Argoth. On ETB, he returns Bloodstained Mire to play from his graveyard. After that, he convokes out Pylon from the top of his library. He targets Bellow to destroy. Then he surveils two. He puts both into his graveyard and pass. Will plays a Veridescent Bog. Then he casts Hazel's Brewmaster. On ETB, he makes a food token and exiles the Spore Frog from Jeff's graveyard. I play a Plains, then I cast Illustrious Wanderglyph and pass. On Mark's upkeep, I get a Gnome, and I draw a card. Mark plays Reliquary Tower, then he casts Sunbird's Invocation. After that, he casts Mana Reflection. I respond to that by casting Mana Drain. With Sunbird's Invocation trigger, Mark casts Scepter of Eternal Glory. Then he casts Cultivate. He misses with the Sunbird's Invocation. He puts a Forest into play, and puts a Forest into his hand. Then he'll pass. Jeff cracks Polluted Delta on Mark's end step. He gets a 5-3 beast token. Then he fetches again, getting another swamp and another beast. I get another gnome and draw a card. Jeff casts Iridescent Vine Lasher, paying its offspring cost. Then he plays Windswept Heath. On ETB, he deals 2 damage to Mark with the Iridescent family. Then he cracks the Windswept Heath. He gets another beast. He'll fail to find a forest. After that, he casts Scouting Trek. He puts his last 5 basic lands on top of his library. Then he surveils, putting those lands into his graveyard. From there, he casts Splendid Reclamation. He returns 6 lands to the battlefield. On ETB, he sends 12 Vine Lasher damage at Mark and passes the turn. Urza Saga triggers and fetches a Soul Ring. 
on Will's upkeep, I get a gnome and draw a card. Will plays Phyrexian Tower. Then he casts Wingrace's Judgment. His targets are My Illustrious Wanderglyph, Mark's Sunbirds Invocation, and Jeff's Titania. After that, he equips the Skull Clamp on Hazel's Brewmaster. Moving to combat, he sends the 4-3 Hazel Brewmaster at me, exiling Jeff's Titania. I block it with all three of my gnomes. It dies and Will draws two cards. Then he plays Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth and pass. I get six colorless mana from Mana Drain. I cast Elish Norn, Mother of Machines. Then I cast my commander, Zinnia again. After that, I play Ancient Tomb. From there, I cast Skyclave Apparition, paying for the offspring cost. Thanks to Mom, I get two offsprings. All their ETBs trigger twice, so I can exile six non-land, non-token permanents. I exile Mark's Nautiloid Ship, Jeff's non-token Iridescent Mindlasher, Jeff's commander, Will's Skull Clamp, and Mark's two mana rocks. Then I'll draw a card and pass the turn. Mark plays a forest, then he casts his commander, Bellow. After that, Mark casts Gruel War Chant. Moving to combat, he sends 15 Menace Enchantment damage at me. I block 5 damage, my Skyclave token dies, and I take 10 damage. Mark gets 2 4 4s, then he draws 2 cards and pass the turn. Jeff recasts his commander, then he cracks the Polluted Delta, he fetches 4 an island into play. After that, he casts Virtue of Persistence, then he surveils with his commander, putting both cards into his graveyard. From there, he plays Flooded Strand and moves to his end step. During his end step, Will casts Second Harvest. Will plays Yavimaya Cradle of Growth. Then he recasts his commander, Hazel. Moving to his end step, he makes another construct and pass the turn. I start my turn by casting Molten Gatekeeper. I pay its offspring cost, so I get two 1-1 one, one copies. On ETB, they deal 8 damage to the table. Then I draw a card from Caretaker's Talent. After that, I cast Claim Jumper. With that on the stack, Jeff cracks his land to fetch an island. Then Will responds by channeling both Seiju who endures, destroying one of my Molten Gatekeepers. The table takes 4 damage from the Molten Gatekeeper twins. Then I'll fetch 4 lands into play, tapped. I surveil twice with my lands coming into play, putting both cards into my graveyard. After that, I level up Caretaker's Talent, making another Molten Gatekeeper. This ETB has the table taking another 4 damage. Moving to combat, I send my 5-3 commander at Mark, taking him out of the game. Then I play another surveil land. I put both into the graveyard and pass the turn. On Jeff's upkeep, he returns the Gitrog monster from his graveyard with the trigger from Virtue of Persistence. Then he cracks the fetch land. He draws with the Gitrog monster, but he'll fail to find a forest. Then he plays Scalding Tarn. Then he casts Sylvan Safekeeper. He sacks Scalding Tarn to Sylvan Safekeeper, giving the Gitrog monster Shroud and drawing a card. Then he sacks three lands, giving a creature Shroud and drawing three cards. After that, he casts Deadly Rollick, targeting Elish Norn. Then he casts Treasure Hunt, revealing Vampiric Tutor. He sacks two more lands, drawing two more cards. From there, he taps the top to draw, and he'll cast Mystical Tutor, holding priority, so he can sack a land and draw a card. He tutors four Snuff Out to the top of his library. Then he casts Snuff Out, targeting one of my Molten Gatekeeper tokens. He'll sack another land to draw into and cast Zoran Orb. Then he plays his two land drops for turn. He sacks three lands to Zoran Orb, gaining six life and drawing three cards. Then he casts Eternal Witness. He returns Splendid Reclamation to his hand. He taps all his lands. Then he sacrifices all of them. He casts Splendid Reclamation, triggering his Vine Lasher token to deal 28 damage to the table. Spread out however he wants. Jeff takes the game this week, piloting Glarb Calamity's Augur, better known as his Moistness. Don't forget to click all the buttons down below the video if you like the game. Until next time, I'll see you at the table.